Hello today's video we have the following content. Luo Jin is recognized as a good man and a good father in the entertainment industry. He is humble and low-key, and has superb acting skills. Luo Jin, a clear stream in the entertainment industry, is known for his humility and low-keyness. He is also recognized as a good man and a good father. He conquered the audience with his superb acting skills in front of the camera. Whether it is a handsome man in a costume drama or a passionate male lead in a modern drama, he can handle it with ease and portray the character to the core. Outside the camera, Luo Jin is a solid backing for the family. He knows the warmth and importance of home, takes good care of his wife and children, and interprets the definition of good father with practical actions. In the turbulent and complex entertainment industry, he always maintains a normal heart, is not arrogant or impatient, treats people with sincerity, and has won wide acclaim inside and outside the circle. Every time Luo Jin appears, it is like a spring breeze, bringing warmth and strength to people. In his own way, he conveys positive energy and influences everyone who pays attention to him. In this fast-paced era, Luo Jin has proved what a real good man and a respectable artist are with his words and deeds. Next news. Luo Jin, I am like a data lion, blowing wherever I want. The wind is different, I can't control where I fly. Luo Jin is a textured actor. When asked, what are your expectations for the next role? He said, I don't have any. I just go with the flow. I am like a data lion, blowing wherever I want. The wind is different, the air humidity is different, I can't control where I fly. This actor is too low-key, doesn't like marketing, and has too little online publicity. He uses the term data lion to make people feel good. He doesn't fight or compete. Whatever role is given, he can interpret the role with his heart. Go with the flow, have no ambitions and expectations, be down to earth, and only look at the foot in the road ahead. Actors can't just play a certain type of role. Good actors should be diverse and can play whatever they are given. I know Luo Jin from Liu Ying, the Emperor Way of Han and Beauty Scheming. Who hasn't been fascinated by Liu Ying back then? He smiles to express his decadent and desperate state, and his eyes are full of drama. When I first followed the drama, I thought he was the male lead. He is not particularly handsome, but he has a lot of flavor and his acting skills are attractive. Later, as expected, Yang Zongbao and Mu Guying takes command made more people know Luo Jin, and he became famous. Crane Hua Ting was broadcast earlier, but unfortunately I only finished it recently. Luo Jin's Xiao Ding Quan has crying scenes in almost every episode, and he cries differently. He expresses his emotions differently for everything. Touching the audience and making the director cry, a good actor, conquering people with his acting skills, and gaining fans with his strength. I have also watched his modern drama on Jia, and Aunt Su played very well. He is good at both ancient and modern dramas. Luo Jin is a straightforward actor. He said, when I don't have so many choices, it seems that only others can choose you. Someone asked, do you want to play this play? But, sorry, if it is not suitable, I have the right to refuse. He continued, you think that if you give me this opportunity, as an actor, I don't think it is suitable, so I won't play it. I will wait for a role that I think is suitable. Others will shoot dramas they don't like in order to survive, but Luo Jin has never done that. Some people say that reality is not bad enough and life is cruel. Not necessarily, he is a high-quality artist who really wants to be a good actor and is responsible to the audience. He carries heart pills with him when filming, which is his way of protecting himself. Luo Jin is not good at expressing emotions in life, but in the play, he can vent as much as he wants. People who are born to be actors say that this is too fun. Sticking to ideals and being pure in the present will naturally bring rich rewards. From Luo Jin, I learned that no matter which field you are deeply involved in, don't waver and keep your original intention, which is an important step to success. Next news. Reconnaissance Heroes won the game, Ma Sichin played a rustic, Luo Jin turned around, and the second male lead was so surprising. The new drama of Zhang Ziya Long, the godfather of Chinese drama, has finally started. Luo Jin and Ma Sichin took the lead in the leading roles. To be honest, I didn't have much hope for this drama at the beginning. Luo Jin plays a tough guy, which is fine, but Ma Sichin's involvement in a war drama that particularly tests her appearance and acting skills really makes people feel murmured. Before chasing the drama, I read the comments first. Many bad reviews said that Ma Sichin relied on capital power to forcefully insert something, and it was endless. However, after I watched 10 episodes in one breath, I really felt that the previous worries were completely unnecessary. 
All the actors are really very relaxed. 1. Luo Jin's hard and soft side. Tang Yan's flower has just ended over there, and Luo Jin's reconnaissance heroes has begun here. Luo Jin plays Liang Chen, the head of the reconnaissance department this time. In the first episode, Liang Chen led many brothers in the reconnaissance department to carry out the reconnaissance mission of 314 heights. A small and simple scene, with dark faces, no cool or greasy look, everyone is a warrior ready to carry out the mission at any time. Luo Jin has never had an idle burden. What kind of role the director needs, he presents on TV. In the play, Liang Chen is quite good at arranging the tasks of his soldiers. When he rode a horse carrying a cannon to report the news, he looked a little funny, but it didn't make people feel embarrassed. When many people came here, they couldn't help complaining. If there is a news, why don't you just tell it directly? Why do you have to report it to the leader in person? I have to say that some people are just complaining randomly. If important news is not delivered face to face, it is very likely to be eavesdropped. After all, the reconnaissance department led by Liang Chen is not too far away from the headquarters of a certain division of the volunteer army in the lead in zinc mining area. These small details are actually worth pondering. Although this drama is a war drama, it also contains love. Luo Jin's face looks very sincere, and it is hard to get bored whether he is showing love or confessing his feelings. In the drama, Liang Chen likes Wen Ji from the art troupe. After only meeting a few times, he asked about Wen Ji's situation without beating around the bush. There is no secret love or ambiguous entanglement between men and women. It is a direct confession. Similarly, Wen Ji has a lover, and she did not convey any wrong information to Liang Chen. She directly said that she has a partner. To be honest, this is the first time I feel that the relationship between men and women in a war drama should be so straightforward. 2. Wang Chen Cheng's acting skills are amazing. I watched Reconnaissance Heroes at first because of Luo Jin and Ma Sijin, but I didn't expect to be a fan of Wang Chen Chen who played Qi Lu in the end. The first time I watched a drama played by Wang Chen Chen, I was fascinated by the arrogant little ears he played. The next thing to talk about is Xiao Chen and Wind Blowing Half Summer. Whether it is Xiao Chen or Xiao or Duo, both of them are very subversive characters. Although they are not key supporting roles, their acting skills add a lot of color to the whole drama. This time, Wang Chengcheng plays the second male lead named Qi Lu, who defected from the Kuomintang. In everyone's eyes, he is the kind of slippery guy of the Kuomintang's new 6th army, who is particularly afraid of death and has no ambition. Wang Chengcheng showed this attitude of not being afraid of anything and not caring about anything very vividly. Qi Lu was originally in the guard company of the art troupe. He had no great ability and no great ambition. He just wanted to muddle through under the protection of the Communist Party. When he first appeared in front of Section Chief Liang Chen, he looked like he could handle it left and right, neither offending anyone nor trying hard to please anyone. Qi Lu's first half of his life can be summarized by two beams of light. I have been to Burma and fought with the Japanese devils with real swords and guns. This makes me proud. In the corner of Liang Huang, the captain of the reconnaissance squad was captured with Liao Ye Oxiang. This is the dust on my face. Qi Lu did not surrender to the Communist Party because he was captured, but he was disappointed with the Kuomintang and chose to join the Communist Party's guard company and became a member of it. He can read maps and react smartly, so he is a good reconnaissance expert, but he also has a big problem. He can't understand the difference between fear of war and necessary self-protection. Liang Chen said this. He can see the danger, but he doesn't have the courage to deal with it. This is Qi Lu. The Qi Lu shown by Wang Chengcheng is such a clever but timid soldier. 3. Ma Sichen no longer puts on airs. Ma Sichen is too literary and artistic. Before I started watching the show, I felt that she would not fit in with the show. But after watching 10 episodes, I really admire her acting skills. She is worthy of being the Golden Horse Award winner. Ma Sichen plays the role of Wenji in the art troupe this time. When she encountered the attack of American aircraft, she ran out of her hiding place without caring about anything, risking exposure, and took back the musical instrument that was thrown out. Many viewers laughed at her for being naive. But if you think about her words carefully, maybe you won't just laugh at her. When she said that for the people in the art troupe, musical instruments are weapons. Just like soldiers, they can never throw away the tools to defend their country at any time, and police can't abandon their guns. I feel that for Wen Ji, protecting the musical instrument is her sense of mission to the country. Not everyone can become a general who can weigh all aspects of the beginning. People always have to grow up.
I have always believed that one G, like Key Lu, has to go through hardships and grow up. At the beginning, for the role of Wen Ji, I felt that Ma Sichen fully grasped the bravery and vigor of her. She was so fierce when she picked up the instrument regardless of anything, and she was so brave when she later planned to pull the grenade and die with the enemy. The biggest difference between Zhang Ziyalong's drama and other spy war dramas is that the heroine finally no longer has the aura of an idol. When I saw Wen Ji's face, which was rustic, dark and muddy due to running around day and night, I really had to praise Ma Sichen for her professionalism. Finally, in a war film, the heroine is no longer the kind of lady who dresses up brightly. Ma Sichen was depressed for a while because of her appearance anxiety. This time in a war film, she completely disregarded her image, which can be regarded as a kind of growth and rebirth. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,